What's going on guys? I just received this in the mail today. Tobacco Touch Eau de Parfum from My Son Alhambra. This is a 2.7 fluid ounce container. It's supposed to be a duplicate a clone of um, Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla. Alright, let's open it up over this. Very cheap, only picked it up for 25 bucks off of Amazon. People have given high reviews about this and the authenticity. But I'm sorry about the likeness of this to Tom Ford, the back of a new. That smell is imprinted in my brain. I have a little paper here strip with the smell still on it. But the, the smell of the back of a new is imprinted in my brain. I like it. At first impressions of Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille, it was, it kind of like reminded me of like a gingerbread house kind of, um, the first opening, that's what I got with maybe some slight hint of whiskey, but then the dry down was just tobacco, vanilla, whiskey mix, and it was amazing. The dry down was amazing. But the opening was a little bit sweet, very sweet to me. This is the box it comes in. Nice presentation on the box. And the container itself as well. It's supposed to be a batch number. So I hope this is a real Tobacco touch. I can't really see that. I don't know if you guys can. Anyway, this is from Amazon, and I will post a link of it depending on how. Well, I'll post a link on it depending on if it's good or not. If it's bad, I won't even bother, but if it's very good, then I'll post a link of. This, I'm, I'm not no associate or whatever it's called. I don't make no money off of this stuff. I just do it just for the fun of it. Spend my money and just give you guys honest reviews. I don't get none of this stuff for free. I thought it was a glass. Plastic top. The container's obviously glass. Let's try it. Oh, wow. Just trying to get the, trying to air it out a little bit. Yeah, guys, this is it. This is very, very close. This is it. I tried the dossier, the version from dossier and powdery tobacco was horrible. Just smelled like straight up apricots, just dried fruit the whole way. Even up until the end. At the end, you kind of, kind of, it's very, very it's a faint hint of a tobacco or like a cigarette pack, but it's, it was very, like a camel crush stuck with them, but it was very, very faint. It, was, it wasn't any good. So I, I contacted them and I told them I wanted to return it. This is very, very close. If not exactly the same. I got to see on the dry down. The opening is gingerbread. I don't get that apricot that I got with this year. It's a little bit sweet, maybe like honeyish. Honeyish vanilla. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm uh, maybe a very hint of apricot. I guess that's the dried fruit that's supposed to be in there. 
What are, what are the ingredients? I saw ingredients here. There it is. Alcohol denatured, fragrance perfume, uh, limonene, citral, calmarine, geraniol, cinnamol. Yeah, well, on the Dodge Air one, they, they, the ingredients were clear. It said apricot. That's why I smelled it so intense. I don't have this one. Vanilla and honey. This is very close. No, I gotta stop saying this is very, this is close. This is, this is it. This is the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla. For the price, this is, I'm an honest review. I, I literally paid cash out of my pocket for this. I don't get none of this stuff for free. I, I don't even have enough viewers for any of this stuff to even be, um, for any big company to reach out to me. But this is a very honest review. And to the to Tom Ford Tobacco Manil, it's, um, it's identical. <laughs> so guys, hey, you got it from me. If you don't want to spend what I think is like 300, 350 for um, the same size bottle from Tom Ford Tobacco Manil, this is only, I paid only $25 for this. And it smells exactly the same. And I even tried the Alts alternative fragrance for the Creative Ventus. So it was alternative fragrance, executive number 26 to Creative Ventus. And that was fair on that one too. I said, now a lot of reviews said it was exactly the same. I gave it a seven out of 10 on likeness because it had a chemical smell to it. This is good. This is, I'm very honest, my Stone Alhambra Tobacco Touch. It's identical to Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla. My nose isn't like an expert nose where I can smell everything, but I have enough common sense to know something smells similar. The opening notes are very, very similar. I'm gonna pause this video and then I'll come back and finish it up um, maybe an hour or two down the line because I don't get too much of the tobacco yet. But I, I did when they sprayed the um the paper, and I remember that too. I didn't get much of it either. I remember I said too, it was like I just smell like cinnamon, like a gingerbread house with or like whiskey bourbon. Uh, I got that at Macy's, and that's that's that was my first impression. It wasn't until maybe like an hour or two later that I got home and I started smelling the tobacco, and it was very intense. So I'll come back. What time is it? It's five forty eight. I'll come back around um seven, and I'll let you guys know if I smell the tobacco. But on opening notes, very, very, very similar. Identical. Guys, it's only been about 10, 15 minutes. But I had to come back and update you guys because I'm already starting to get a hint of the tobacco smell. It's like a, ri it's like a rich cigar tobacco. It's not like a cheap chemical. It's only been 15, 10, 15 minutes at the, at the max 15 minutes, but I think it's about, about been like 10, 12 minutes. Guys, I haven't tried anything else. I've only tried Dossier. Dossier is horrible, don't buy that. Unless I just got a bad batch, but I spent what? With that and shipping, it all came out of $55. And I, yeah, I don't get the shipping back, but at least I get the $49 that I spent on it. So at least I'm able to get that back. The shipping is lost. But if you don't want to lose any money and you're looking for a clone of Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla, this is it. I'm going to come back, like I promised, in about an hour or two. Two hours. I'm going to give it two hours. But I'm already smelling the, tobacco, the cigar tobacco. It's very sweet. This is a very... This isn't feminine at all. This is a masculine... Definitely a masculine smell. But like... A lighter masculine smell. It's like if you're wearing a, you 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 have to wear you have to be like in a, but I don't even want to say in a particular setting because I feel like I could also go out like around friends and and still be okay with this. Office, you could definitely wear this to an office. A wedding, yeah, you could get a, you can definitely wear this to a wedding. Business, yeah, I'd say so. Definitely any type of winter or fall um, gathering activity, whatever outing um 
going to like a bar or a club on a um during the summer i don't think so so that's the only exception but like if i'm just like walking around with like a girlfriend and like we're going shopping or just like meeting uh, family or friends on a on a summer, I can get away with this. It would I, I know exactly what it were to for this, but it's so similar to Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla, guys. It's it is. I'm om- I'm almost just so I because I, I I heard also that they're discontinuing this. I'm I'm gonna buy another one just for safekeeping. I also heard the longer you let it macerate, the better it gets. So I'm definitely gonna buy another one. I'm gonna start spraying this. Or you could even use it as like an air freshener. I know. I know women are going to love this smell. So, like, even if I, like, put it, like, on my sheets in my bed or something like that, like, they'll, they'll like, it's something. This is, like, a cuddly, cuddling up type of scent. And any woman would definitely love this smell. If you like Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille, you guys will love this. I'll be back in about two hours. So, yeah, like, eight, 7.30, 8-ish. All right. All right, guys, I'm back. It's about 7.30 or so, about an hour and a half later. So it kind of uh, kind of settled down a little bit. Um, now after like about an almost two hours of a dry down, I would say I smell fruit. The fruit smell got a little bit stronger. I smell the tobacco. It's not as powerful, but I smell it. Maybe. Or maybe just my nose isn't... I don't know. I feel like I don't smell tobacco too strong on, on a lot of things. I didn't smell that heavy tobacco smell either on um, the Tom Ford toba- uh, Tobacco Vanilla. On a dossier, I didn't smell none of it. I just smelled apricots. The dossier, powdery tobacco, I didn't smell no tobacco at all. I just smelled straight apricots. But this one, I don't get that apricot smell. You get the dried fruit smell. You get the vanilla smell. And a slight tobacco smell. Nothing crazy. Like I said, I just received this bottle. Maybe it has a macerate. Um, so I can let this sit for a couple of months and then I can come back and give an updated review. But from, from what I smell now, it's very similar, very, very similar to the tobacco vanilla from Tom Ford. And it's a very good purchase because it's um, nowhere near as close as that price. Is much, much, much cheaper. I only got this for 25 bucks. I'm going to buy another one um, just for safekeeping because I did hear that they're getting rid of this line or they're getting rid of this scent. So I'm going to order me another one I have just in case because I do like the scent. I'm going to wear it today. Um, the reason why I want, I want to do the review a lot sooner is because I had to take a shower because um, I'm about to go someplace. So I'm, I'm going to wear this today because it is cold out. So I feel like this is perfect weather for what I'm going to dress. I mean, this is perfect uh, cologne for how I'm going to dress. But I like it. I'm a big fan. I'm going to buy me another one. I'll put the link of what I um, where I purchased it from. It's from Amazon. And it's a EDP, Eau de Parfum. 2.7 liters. The spray, the atomizer works. Um, I think it's called that's what it's called. That works very good. It sprays evenly. Other way around. And on the box, it came with this sticker. So I'm assuming everything in this is real. But it smells very good. 10 out of 10 for this. 10 out of 10 for this one.